so now let me open another model which is run already and in that beams are modeled using plastic hinges fibers are modeled using auto fiber uh, approach and uh, these columns and the shear walls are also modeled using pm3 fiber approach okay so, so this is a model of a multi story building where uh, there are shear walls rc shear walls they are modeled using fiber approach columns model using fiber approach and beams model using plastic hinge approach so i have already run the non linear dynamic analysis let me quickly show you the results of each fiber for a particular uh, element so after running the analysis i can go to again display and then uh, hinge results this is the same option you were using for plastic hinges for beams uh, so i'll go to that particular section and then now the fiber results will all also be available along with beams right so uh, let me just close this one to expand this area so maybe i can uh, okay do like this so now uh, first let me select the load case let me select the non linear dynamic analysis load case which is run already and then i should select the hinge degree of freedom uh, this one okay and then hinge degree of freedom let me select m3 then uh, story story number let's say 7 then object type can be frame or maybe shear wall also let me select that i think story some story maybe this one okay in object type it can be frame and wall so let let me first review the results of rc columns so let me select frame and then frame type is column and the other option will be beam so let me select column column label in that particular story there can be se several columns so let me go for c5 uh, you can see these labels using this uh, uh, display option here set display options all the column labels can be seen so you let's say select c5 and in c5 there are again two fiber hinges at both ends so let me select uh, there are two fiber hinges c5 h10 and c5 h9 let me select c5 h9 and it is by default fiber pm2 m3 hinge so this is the moment versus uh, rotation curve for this particular column uh, in this particular story right so although it is a, a fiber approach column is modeled using fibers but program have integrated all the all the you can say uh, uh, fiber forces and develop moment versus rotation curve for the whole of column section so m theta curve is member property right so although you give fibers for each uh, location in the column cross section but program is able to develop automatically the m theta curve for your column right using fiber material data and location and everything so this is exactly like how section designer is uh, using your cross section dimensions and material models and using fiber modeling it is able to develop moment versus uh, curvature curve and which you can convert into moment versus rotation curve also right Uh, if i want to go for uh, fiber results individual fiber results that option is here show individual fiber results for this particular column so i can click on this small button and a new uh, you can say form will appear in this particular form i can review the uh, results fiber by fiber just like you did it in your quiz right so currently for example it is for this particular load case and step 0 it is the zero step of the analysis and fiber 13 is being highlighted uh, which i can modify and i can select any of those 29 fibers and check the performance right for example let me select that same fiber 13 now it that fiber 13 is actually an extreme fiber it is a cover fiber a fiber for cover concrete 
so you can see a stress strain curve like this is given the red line is the stress strain curve which you gave as an input blue line is the stress and strains which were developed by this particular north ridge ground motion which i run already right so these are the demand values so for this particular fiber it is you can see that in compression this particular earthquake have produced this much strain in compression maximum strain and in tension it is uh, this much and it is far beyond what the tensile capacity of that particular concrete is so which means this fiber will uh, significantly crack in tension this fiber will be significantly crushed in compression also at another time step right so at a certain time step it will be somewhere here then it will go back and then so this is the complete cyclic behavior which was uh, exhibited by this particular fiber under north ridge earthquake right S let's select some steel fiber this is concrete one so let me select some steel fiber some other one okay this one so you can see that this is this this one this steel it is not an extreme steel and again you can see that uh, the the blue color is almost uh, not visible so it is not stressed significantly this particular rebar but maybe let me select any corner bar it will be stressed yeah this one so this is uh, a corner bar uh, sh uh, represented by fiber number 10 here you can see that this bar almost yielded right so you can see that this uh, blue line is the behavior exhibited by that bar during ground motion so for each fiber you can plot this cyclic behavior produced by the earthquake and plot it on top of the capacity which you provide and this comparison simply gives you a real picture of the damage let me select any other concrete fiber which is core concrete let's say uh, this one is core concrete fiber it is inside the cover so it is given with a different a more ductile stress strain curve right and it is not highly stressed also by the way because it is somewhere in the middle the corner fibers because when you see a column when it sway in one side uh, the extreme corner will be highly stressed when it sway on the other side the other extreme will be highly stressed right so these four corner fibers will be always highly stressed in biaxial bending case so that's how you can see the results for each fiber program have a systematic way of showing you in colors also and that is using performance checks so let me just close this option go again to that same 3d model uh, so i can define after the analysis after the nonlinear analysis i can define what is called a performance check so when you click this performance check here you can systematically define your particular query so it is just a query builder that you are telling the program show me all columns which crossed life safety show me all columns which crossed io level for example so it's just a query builder so let me add new performance check and uh, let's call this performance check as pc1 or any name you want to give add a demand name demand is from the north nonlinear time history analysis and then let me select just uh, the performance check and let's say io level right and let me click ok so pc1 means checking immediate occupancy under north ridge earthquake right so i select that one and then select that one now i come back and in display there is a display performance check option there was define performance check here display so here i can select pc1 the same one which i defined and display check for frames or walls so let me go for frames so now i know that pc1 means immediate occupancy so this should show me this view now should show me uh, for frames all those fibers which crossed immediate occupancy almost all of them have crossed because red color means a dc ratio of 1 legend you can see here so all the columns which are in red color all the columns having two hinges at both ends they crossed already immediate occupancy under this north ridge earthquake 
all the beams which have uh, blue color their dc ratio is somewhere in this range 0 to 0 0.5 right so it is a more uh, quick view uh, way of checking uh, how much is the damage now this is uh, this is the damage picture directly right if i go for walls it should also show me a similar uh, picture now you can see no hinges are displayed for frames only for walls those shear wall legs which are which are shown by the red color now they crossed immediate occupancy if i select another performance check for life safety i can see that one if i make another one for collapse prevention i can see that one so if your northridge earthquake for which you are checking all those results let's say it was the mce level earthquake for your site then you can define a performance check for cp level and your structure sh any element should not cross beyond cp level if it is going beyond cp level under mc level earthquake then you should modify the design the reinforcement and cross section size and everything is it is not enough to fulfill this intended performance right so this uh, template which i am using that sle level performance is io db level life safety and mc level collapse prevention it is just an example performance objective performance objective can be anything it can be that for my mc level i want life safety or immediate occupancy if my building is is uh, uh, is very important or it can be a, uh, any other return period earthquake not sle db mc any other return period and any other desired performance for example at 1000 year return period i want my building to remain completely crack free right no cracking is allowed at this much return period of an earthquake so this is an objective you can directly check that apply an earthquake corresponding to 1000 year return period and directly can see whether a particular element cracked or not if it is cracked change the design right because it didn't fulfill the performance so the client can set a list of desires quantifiable desires in the form of two things hazard level and intended performance this much earthquake i want this that much earthquake i want this for very high and rare earthquake i may allow significant damage but it should remain standing for a frequent earthquake no cracking is allowed for uh, moderate earthquake repair cost should not be more than this much million right these are the desires which he can list down and in the performance based uh, report these uh, performance objectives should be clearly mentioned at the start these are the agreed upon performance levels between client and the pbd expert right and then the whole exercise is revolving around fulfilling those desires if they are not fulfilled even if the building is code compliant you should change design to fulfill those desires right 